Jimmy, you've managed to turn the game on its head to get a point, but how do you view the match overall? Started off, what we set out to do was to play fast-flowing football down the sides and get at them. Started the first 15 minutes, was really good, albeit it was all down the right-hand side of the park. Couldn't get the ball out the left, but that didn't matter. If you're, if you're factored down the right, keep on doing it. And after the referee's decision to give a penalty kick, which was beyond me, it was, uh, I'm only saying that because I've seen it since. Now it was, you know, anyway, it doesn't matter, it's done. And, uh, and we get wrapped up in the whole thing. We get wrapped up in the whole idea of being frustrated with the referee's decision. And we haven't got a clear head. And then, I mean, there's so many referees out in that park and eight, and all I wanted to do was to, now if it had been a fight and a scrap from the very start, I thought, right, we're going to have to fight and scrap. But they produced the first 15 minutes, good flowing football. And then we lost it because of the, the penalty kick. And we had to get back to that. And it's difficult because it's half an hour to go. And you're trying to keep them calm in the park and not get frustrated. And then you get them in the dressing room and you, you say to them, you know, with a two or three boot, now if you're going to keep thinking about the referee's decision, then you're, you're going to end up doing some stupid be off the park. And we can't afford to have anybody off the park. So get the football head back on and do what you did the first 15 minutes, which is get the ball down and go at them with pace and urgency and determination. And they did it. And they were, I thought they were brilliant to say, I really, really enjoyed them. Sounded the back, dealt with whatever they had to, to throw at us. Good counter-attack in football, just a, a final wee ball at times counter-attack. And it could have, been, could have been a better pass. Buffalo into Murphy and these things, other things. We were shooting outside the box when we could have slipped people in the box. There was loads of wee things. But the bodies in behind the ball and the determination to get back into the game was there to, to be seen by everybody. And young Russ McCrory's goal, determination, to go and do something about the situation, he's attacked the ball, good goal, and then after that, I thought, I thought every brother uh, really put everything they could into, into the second half to get a win. I think you obviously you speak about the attacking sense here, but <coughs> defensively as well, that, that second half, you restricted Aberdeen to, to practically nothing. Yeah, I know, and then, you know, when you were faced with what we had to, you know, we had to deal with, and they dealt with it, you know, and then if you put them under pressure and, and the, you know, it doesn't matter, they, you know. They did really well, so they did. You know, and they still had the energy to go forward in numbers and try and get the winner, you know, so. It was just that wee final wee bit we needed at the end. But it didn't matter, we're still in it. We're still in it. And if they produce what they produced in that second half on Sunday, then well, I'm, I'm just hoping they do. And, 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 and that's what they need to do, because they need, they need to get a win. How's Graham Dorns? You obviously lost him to injury in the first half. Yeah, it looks like knee ligaments or ligaments, you know, so he's away there with the walking sticks. So it's not looking great for, for Graham at the weekend. And um, we've got Ross McCrory suspended and, and Alfredo suspended. So we've got a wee bit of work to do to get a team out in the park to get, to get at them and, you know, on a good hip side. We've got to get them all freshened up and ready to go again on Sunday.